total eclipse of the sun is one of the most breathtaking sights that a person can witness, watching the sun slowly ebb away until the world falls into darkness. Whenever an eclipse happens, people from all over the world rush to see them, setting up telescopes and equipment to watch as the sun's disk is slowly covered in darkness. But what causes this effect? To show you why eclipses happen, you're going to need a large ball, which will represent the Earth, a smaller ball, which will be the Moon, and finally, a lamp, which will be our sun. You want the lamp to shine as brightly as possible, so you may have to remove the shades, but be careful as the bulb can be hot. Once you've got everything together, make the room as dark as possible by closing blinds and curtains and turning out the lights. Turn on your lamp and then hold the large ball at arm's length. Then take your smaller ball so that its shadow passes across the larger one. This is what happens during an eclipse. The moon acts like the small ball, passing between the Earth and the Sun, casting its shadow across the surface. This is the view from the Earth. On a normal day, you can see the Sun, here the lamp, but then the moon comes along and blocks our view. From most places on Earth, the moon will appear to only cover a small portion of the Sun's disk. This is called a partial eclipse. However, when the Earth, Sun and Moon are in perfect alignment, a total eclipse happens and the world is plunged into darkness. It can take several hours for the Moon's shadow to fully pass across the Earth, causing the Sun to slowly disappear until all that's left is a ring of light around the dark shadow of the Moon. But with the bright light of the Sun cut away, not everything is completely dark. Instead, we can finally see the Sun's corona, a wispy layer of gas around the star that is normally invisible. It's one of the sights that makes the experience so magical, a ring of bright light in the darkness.